Hi, I'm Nick Shaw, Senior Solutions Engineer. I'm going to show an example of an API-first workflow that we can automate, where in this case, we're building the API in Fast API, and then automatically generating collections, documentation, tests, monitors, uh, and pushing that to the API network for discoverability. So when we say API-first workflow patterns, what do we mean? API-first can be either design-first or code-first. When we say workflow patterns, we mean a special form of design pattern that defines a process and is consistent with best practice. So hence, we call these API-first workflow patterns. What we're seeing in the industry is that there are two main categories of API-first workflow patterns. One is design-first, where you start with your API spec and generate code and business logic. The other pattern is where you start with code and generate your API spec as an output. Both have their advantages. Today, we're going to look at a code first example, but we don't want to just stop with generating an API spec from our source code. We want to handle things like API versions across different environments and regions, documentation, mocks, tests, monitors, and ultimately making that API available as a release. The tooling that I'm going to show is Fast API, which is a framework for spinning up APIs in, in Python that gained a lot of popularity the last couple of years. And we're going to automate creating assets in Postman. We're going to automate this workflow using Newman, which is the Postman Enterprise Automation CLI tool and the Postman API. All of these assets are in a publicly available workspace, and I'll share the link to it here. We cover different code first and design first patterns here. So with our fast API use case, let's just take a really basic example and say, we're going to spin up a server using the, the basic example from uh, Fast API on their website. I've started my server, and now this is going to give me a service running here, which you can see, as well as my API spec file, auto-generated uh, openapi.json, where I've got a couple of Git operations, and that's what I'm starting with. So let's take this and let's populate this in Postman. You'll see here where my spec is empty. It says nothing's here yet. I don't have any collections to represent my docs, mocks, monitors, and tests. So I'm gonna use one of those collections from the workspace I just showed you. I'm gonna use this collection to run a workflow and automatically populate everything over here. We see where we made a call to retrieve the API spec locally from that URI I just showed where it was spun up when I ran my Fast API project. So it populated this. It also populated all the collections over here. I'm just gonna pretty print this so I can see it better. And I've got my gits and my resources. I've got my auto-generated documentation and sample requests and responses for these for these resources and verbs. Furthermore, if I add any uh, documentation here, what you'll see is this will stay intact even as I make updates to uh, the API in the future. So let's go ahead and make an update. We just did the population of all these new things. If I just make a quick update and I say, okay, I'm going to add a put operation. I'll write that file to disk. My server is set to automatically reload. So over here, my Web service is already reloaded, and here's my new my new put operation to update items. 
Now it's very straightforward for me to say, okay, let me run that automation. I could trigger this from CI CD. And if you look over here on the left, you'll see it update in real time with a put and a put and a put operation, as well as updating our spec and keeping that additional bespoke documentation in place while adding my new uh, verb. So this is all available in the, in the workspace that we referenced, which is publicly available for these, these different patterns. That's how you can uh, take your existing workflow and pipeline things up to generate documentation, mocks, tests, monitors, and other assets. So please join the conversation uh, for the collection. Feel free to make comments and provide feedback. Thanks very much.